Hi there, this is Dr. Samurai, a professor in Japan specializing in international social pathology. This is my diploma with which I became a professor. And the topic of my uh, minute lecture today is Adolf Hitler. This name everybody knows, right? He is the leader of National Social Democratic Party. I mean, the leader of the Nazi party. Under his dictatorship, he advanced to establish the Third Reich and uh, invaded into other countries for that. Also in that process, it is so well known that he made the eugenics the important pillar of his direction, which is most well represented by the Holocaust of Jewish people. Interesting thing is, as you know, the Germany lost uh, World War I and uh, it was placed and pushed into the corner economically and politically. And uh, Hitler blamed that loss in World War I on the defeatists and the rebels within who, interestingly, Hitler blamed the long of Germany in uh, World War One on the defeatist and uh, rebels backward action. I mean he thought there were enemies inside and it's them that put the Germany lose the war. That was his understanding. So after this miserable loss, he came up and devoted himself to save the Germany from the fatigued condition and too severe sanction by the world. He simply wanted to rebuild the Germany inside and outside. However, in 1945, April 30th, right before their clear defeat in uh, World War II, he committed suicide together with uh, his lover, Ms. Ever Brown. But again, I like to emphasize, he thought the cause of Germany's loss in World War I was there was some uh, enemies inside Germany who were working on backward action and that was the true reason why Germany lost. The loss was from within. He was thinking like that, okay? And now let's get into the analysis of Hitler. First of all, I would like to emphasize as so many people say and think, it is not true that Hitler was a psychopath. He was not a psychopath in a pure sense, okay? Because true psychopath never commit suicide, period. Rather, if Rather, true psychopath would try to come up with the best way to enjoy his life even after he was sentenced to death. Do you understand? Even in the worst condition, psychopath would think positive. Of course, Psychopathy Checklist Revised, called the PCLR, has 0 to 40 points. So, he must have had some points out of those 40 points. But uh, to put it simplest, psychopath is emotional handicap. Their emotion is very shallow. There were few psychopaths who mentioned right before their own execution that it would be the highest thrill and excitement to be executed. Do you understand this? It is emotional handicap. So they don't think like committing suicide like Hitler did, you know? So what was Hitler instead? One of my uh, major areas that I am studying is the relationship between uh, family environment during the childhood and the person's personality. Okay, very simply, if you 
were abused in childhood, you tended to be serial criminal. While if you were neglected, mind controlled, or overprotected, I repeat, neglected, overcontrolled, or overprotected, you would proceed to uh, committing suicide. So Hitler is clearly belonging to uh, the latter, right? Neglect, mind control, and overprotection. So which one did uh, Hitler come from, right? I am logically proceeding. When Hitler was born, his uh, mother Clara already uh, lost uh, three children prior to uh, Hitler. So it was highly likely that she was afraid of raising children after those three terrible traumas, right? So she was like subservient to little dictator Hitler. That said, I think Hitler's critical period was an environment of overprotection. But uh, you say overprotection, it is referring to uh, very broad areas. I'm gonna, you know, uh, kind of focus on uh, that gradually into more details. But uh, I just repeat here, even within the family, there was dynamics that Hitler is higher than his mother. Like Kim Jong-un was higher than his Japanese mother, okay? That could happen even within the family. I'm talking about the power balance, okay? While toward his father, Hitler respected as a uh, an authoritarian and he uh, feared his father. So it was the mixture of fear and respect toward his father. And it is often said, listen to this, those who were abused, they tried to imitate those who abused him to stand back up okay the abused copy the abusing the bullied imitate the bully that's the way they stand back up so to hitler his father was uh, played a role model his violent authoritarian abusive father was the role model of hitler on the other hand According to uh, the family doctor, Hitler never showed his love to his mother and probably not established a true attachment with his mother, okay? I will continue this so in the end you will understand. Uh, if this is so, Hitler's father was somebody far away psychologically, only authoritarian, violent, model role model right while his mother actually was the same as she did not exist psychologically to hitler his mother was too insecure to establish psychological attachment to his boy because she lost three sons already so she was scared of dealing with the little boy little baby so that here that fear made it impossible for her to open her self up emotionally and psychologically to his boy so that means father far away mother psychologically non-existence because she couldn't open up due to the fear so he had nobody during his uh, critical period which is like zero to two or you can put it zero to four he was lonely in his early infancy. You know what happens to lonely people? Because he doesn't deal with any other people outside, his ego becomes humongous because it never touches reality, right? No pain by conflicting against the reality. So it becomes infinitely big, his ego. But, uh, like I said, uh, he learned violence. Absolute violence and aggression has power on everybody from his father. And you also notice his uh, obsessive, compulsive personality, seeing his clearly, uh, you know, uh, cut mustache and his, you know, uh, perfect hairstyle and his way of dressing up. All that obsessive compulsive aspects come from uh, also uh, his lonely childhood without 
human communication with uh, with others that space and time has to be filled in by something else so you know with nobody around everything he could control by himself that is that leads to obsession and compulsive symptom so in a nutshell he could not feel true love towards his mother because she was too scared to deal with him and open herself up emotionally to him coming from the loss of three sons prior to hitler so she was just like a tool and uh, there's no emotional attachment with her because of her insecurity this is okay right because she was too insecure to build attachment with hitler okay and on that no emotional basis he learned the power of violence that is to say on zero emotional basis violence and obsessive compulsive nature was put that's hitler in other words in essence because he could not have any attachment to his mother he could not develop any attachment to any other people later on so in essence his basis is like mass murder type that comes from loneliness mass murder basis coming from no attachment with others but on surface he has this serial criminal type of uh, personality and uh, obsessive compulsive nature which was established under irresistible abuse by father why because you are always abused and uh, his father was volatile he could not expect when he could snap under such abusive condition right he receives that aggression into him so he has to keep releasing that aggression that's why he has this uh, serial criminal nature also when you were constantly under abuse that means you cannot control your own environment right so you want to have something that you can perfectly control yourself by yourself that is his mustache that is his ha hairstyle that is his obsession with uh, no jewish no handicapped people everything has to be grid like clear cut sharp because he could not control his life during his childhood because of the continuous external forces that he couldn't control so i repeat no emotional attachment with his mother and with other people and on that he had serial criminal type of aggression to be released periodically and obsessive compulsive nature to control things crystal clear that is what uh, hitler is so although when things were going good he enjoyed his aggression of speaking in front of other audience gather many many uh, audience lie them and manipulate them and kept attacking other countries as part of the symptoms of serial criminals developed by abuse when he hit a dead end his real base of suicidal tendency came up and died himself that's it so basically he is suicidal but superficially he was serially aggressive and obsessively controlling do you understand what i'm saying those two but the base is suicidal tendency because of the loneliness and no attachment with others except for ever i think uh i would like to mention one more thing and wrap this thing up if you were, were interested in hitler you might have come across some uh, articles that says he loved killing and he loved dead bodies you know those uh, holocaust of jewish people and handicapped and all those uh, migrating people that's why people thought he liked dead people and killing people and is that true the answer is yes those who could not 
establish any attachment with mother and other human beings becomes more like inorganic thing. No attachment with living beings means he is not living. He is a, an inorganic thing. So he feels more comfortable with inorganic others. So it's reasonable to think he felt comfortable with dead bodies or killing. He felt nothing about killing Jewish people. He felt nothing about seeing the mountains of dead bodies. Because he was dead psychologically inside due to no attachment with warm living beings. I think I could put it clearly to you. And I hope uh, it could uh, make some of your question answered. Up until next time. Please have a wonderful time.